All right, so I was searching to uh, see what other options there are for how to auto-respond to Instagram messages, like an auto-reply, an auto-responder. I mean, they exist, auto-responder. They exist for email, as everyone knows. There's a bazillion of them out there. Um, but for Instagram, I mean, even when searching for Instagram, email, like constant contact, which is an email auto-responder, comes up. So uh, what I want to show you is how I'm doing this. Um, there's an article of it. There's one here that shows how to auto DM, but it doesn't allow you to auto respond. It only allows you to send automated uh, DMs to say followers. Um, it doesn't really, it's not, you know, it's not ideal if you have like people asking by hundreds of messages a day how to track their shipment. You know, how do you choose like a keyword? Um, and then, you know, automatically send out an article to anyone that mentions tracking or shipping. Uh, in an Instagram message and then automatically send them out you know, an article that shows them how to do that. Uh, so you can use, like for free software, you can use Slide. Um, it basically just lets you manage Instagram direct messages from your desktop uh, or mobile if you wanted to also. If you, anywhere, anywhere that you wanna basically manage, uh, you know, like CRM style uh, clients or inquiries, so. Uh, logged in here. This is a free account. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you go to business settings, configure your Instagram account, get it all set up. If all goes well, it'll show you the dashboard. And then uh, you got a ticket ID, you got name, username. Um, last message is basically when the last person uh, posted a message. So that's how it's sorted by, by default. Um, I may need to sneeze here, so head, no, I was going to warn the headphone users, but it's, it went away. Um, last updated by, so uh, basically the customer updated this, he, you know, at this time, then the uh, I, or someone on my team, updated uh, this ticket here uh, at this time to Reese. Uh, and then, of course, you can, like, open and close tickets, so let's go to a ticket. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, very user-friendly interface. Information on the top over here, you can close uh, a ticket if, it, if it's been resolved, uh, then you can reopen it if you need to. Uh, you can send messages, uh, it refreshes the messages here every few minutes. Um, and then you can team members, you can add team members, autoresponders, um, we actually here you can let me just walk through um, this. So basically, like, you can add a, a support agent, which is going to just have permission to access this dashboard and then their own user profile. Whereas an admin uh, is going to be able to like configure the Instagram account, um, you know, change the Instagram account if you need to, um, add other team members. Uh, set up autoresponders. Um, so if you're the first person to make an account for your company, you'll obviously be the admin, um, but you can add in, you know, either send them an email invite and they can sign up. Autoresponders, like kind of what we talked about, you can have a keyword, set a keyword, and then based on that keyword, you can send them an auto reply, uh, and that goes out within every like two or three minutes, um, sometimes even less. User profile, um, you know, first, last name kind of thing, uh, changing your email and business settings. As we said, you can set up your Instagram account uh, to actually give access to do all this stuff. So anyways, uh, that's kind of how I do it right now. Um, like I said, if you go to like how to autoresponde to Instagram messages, there's not much out there. So uh, I think that might be the one of the very few ways to auto reply. If you guys have another method, uh, drop it in the comments. I wanna hear from you what you guys are using for autoresponders on Instagram. Anyways, that's all for now. Uh, talk to you later.